Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub and today's topic is how to embroider on beanies. Now these are sometimes a little bit of a challenge if you don't have fast frames, so I'm going to show you how you can do it without the 8 in 1 hoop or fast frames. And uh, it's pretty simple, you just need a few extra supplies and you just need to take one or two extra steps to get uh, really good embroidery using your regular hoops. All right, so there are two things that we have to consider when we are embroidering on this type of stretchy fabric. One is that we have to eliminate stretch as much as possible. And two is that our stitches need to be able to pop out and they can't get lost in the fabric because it is so textured. So we're going to do that using the following materials. Here we have our temporary adhesive spray and we're going to go ahead and pair that with one sheet of tearaway backing. That's going to help to eliminate the stretch. And then we have our aqua top topping. We're gonna go ahead and place this on the top of the embroidery to really help prevent those stitches from sinking into the fabric and to make sure that they pop out and they look really good. Here are the other materials that we're gonna use today. We have our water that we're gonna use at the end of our embroidery and we're gonna spray that on the aqua top topping. That's gonna help dissolve it because it is a wash away topping. Then we have the cutout or the printout of your design. In my case, it's the test of my design, and I went ahead and cut it out to help me center my design. Then we're also going to use a little bit of tape, and I'll tell you why we're gonna need this uh, later on. And our, of course, our measuring tape to help find the center, and a water-soluble pen also for finding the center of your design. So the first step, of course, is placing our design, and I'm gonna go ahead and use these three tools. My water-soluble pen, my measuring tape, and my cutout or my printout of the design. I'm gonna start by measuring the length of my hat and it is about eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a mark at the four and one quarter mark. And that'll be exactly my center. Now I'm gonna measure the length. And that is about two and a half inches. So I'm gonna put a mark at the one and one quarter. So I'm kind of making a mark until they intersect. All right, so now I know that my design is about two inches, so I'm gonna place it right where I made my mark. And I also wanna make sure that each side is about a quarter of an inch away so we can have it even and it won't be too high up or too low. And that would be because since our design is two and a half inches and our area is three inches, we wanna make sure that we compensate for the other half inch on each side so we have one quarter and one quarter and that's about right and that's about right so all you have to do is just go ahead and place a mark right there so you can know when you are tracing it on the machine so as you can see this hat is a you can fold this hat over so you have two options you can stitch right through it and hoop it together like this or you can just stitch one side so that uh, you can still fold it over. So what I'm going to do is stitch one side so you can still fold it over. So because I'm doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and leave my design as is and just invert it. And we're going to keep it right there as you can see so you can know which way to embroider. And we're going to turn it inside out. So as you can see, once you turn it inside out, our embroidery is still going to be facing up and if you want you can go ahead and put a little arrow or mark so that you can know which way you want your design to be facing all right so now it's time for hooping when we are hooping our fabric we're just going to go ahead and start by spraying our tear away with temporary adhesive i'm going to slide it right under so that i can get the area of where the embroidery will be and now I'm going to place my hoop ring so now I'm going to grab a piece of tape and about I'm gonna say about a quarter inch in I'm going to start taping it from the hat to the tearaway and this is gonna help to eliminate that stretch now we got this idea from one of our friends on our Facebook group, Catherine Turner. Thank you, Catherine, for this idea. I saw it and I thought it was really cool. I wanted to try it out myself and I did on this and it worked wonderfully. Also, the adhesive spray will probably do the trick even if you don't use the tape, but we want to try to eliminate stretch as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and try it with that anyway. 
I cut out an extra piece of tape just to make sure it's secure. As you probably learned in Embroidery 101, it's uh, not always the best technique to, to just hoop the tear away or just hoop the backing without the fabric. So with this tape, it's gonna help compensate for that. So I'm just gonna do one last step before I put it into the embroidery machine. I'm just gonna lightly spray my the back of my design with a little bit of adhesive. And I'm going to place it right where I place my center mark. And I'm gonna do this because I'm not able to see as well because of the blue tape. So I wanna make sure that we're still getting right in the center and that we're not anywhere off. So that's gonna help you with your tracing, especially if you're new to design placement. All right, so I have my hat ready for the embroidery machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the hoop and make sure that the bottom of the hat is through the sewing arm so we don't stitch over. I already selected my hoop, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and trace. <laughs> So now I'm going to take out my design and I'm going to apply one sheet of aqua top before embroidering and that's really going to help to make sure that those stitches pop out on this textured fabric. Alright so we're ready to go, let's press start. Just finished embroidering. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tear weight and the aqua top, and we should be done. So to remove the aqua top, all we have to do is tear it away. It's very simple to remove. Then the excess we can go ahead and spray with water, or we can use snips to get it out. Aqua top's off. Now I'm just gonna remove my tear away like normal. All right, so here we have it. This is our finished product, perfect for a winter day or a cold day at the ballpark. I wanna thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. I also want to invite you to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can join other embroiderers and myself in it. You can ask questions and share any of your knowledge. You will find the link to the group below. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.